Have you ever laid out everything that you plan to bring on a trip only to realize that it doesn't fit inside of your bag? In this video, we're sharing 50 of our best packing tips so you're not left stressing the night before you leave. We'll show you everything from how to fold your clothing to the best ways to carry tech. First, let's talk about finding the right bag because that's gonna determine how it'll pack and how much gear you can bring. We're big on one bag travel and prefer carrying a single backpack to rolling luggage. We find you're less likely to be asked to gate check a backpack and it keeps your hands free as you travel from the airport to your hotel. However, carrying all of your gear on your back isn't for everyone. If you're using a spinner, look for one with smooth wheels and a comfortable handle that fits your height so you don't struggle to pull it over cobblestone streets. Whatever type you like, try to find one that's less than four pounds. When trying to meet your airline's weight restrictions, you don't wanna waste extra ounces on your bag when you could bring an extra pair of sandals. And if you're not sure which to choose, then think about what you'll pack first. You can get away with a lower capacity bag if you're packing for warm weather because the clothing is much lighter and packs down smaller. We find 35 to 40 liters more than enough space for most trips. However, if you're going to be hiking, snorkeling, or mountain climbing, you'll have to make sure there's room for specialty gear and may need to size up. Access points are essential too. Your favorite travel backpack may have spots for your laptop, phone, and wallet inside of your bag, but getting to them in the airport or on the plane might be challenging. We like bags with quick access pockets and separate laptop compartments so you don't have to dig around to get what you need. You'll want to leave your 3-1-1 liquids bag near the top too so you can quickly grab it for inspection at security. Back panel ventilation is also important when you're checking out travel backpacks. Mesh covered back panels with air channels can help prevent a sweaty back if you frequently travel to warm weather destinations. Since your travel backpack will be bigger than what you need for everyday carry, consider bringing along a packable backpack to use as a day pack on your trip. It lets you bring home souvenirs or groceries without wasting plastic bags. Plus, if you're asked to gate check your pack, you can have a way to carry the gear that you need on the plane and can stash another seat in front of you. And no matter your preferences or travel needs, don't cheap out if you can help it. Investing in the best gear means it will be there for trips to come, and you don't have to worry about your zipper breaking or bag ripping when you're away from home. I've had a day pack break on a trip before and it just made it miserable. It's also one of the things that inspired me to start Pack Hacker. It's not only the bag that can drag you down, and what's inside it can get heavy too. When you're packing for one bag travel, remember that you'll have to pull it out of the overhead bin and carry it around while you wait for your check-in time. Every ounce counts, so don't overpack or you could start your trip with a sore back. Instead, bring along just the essentials. For example, if you don't need a laptop, try bringing a tablet or just use your phone since similar devices are often just as capable. We'll go into even more detail about packing tech later on in this video. Look for packable versions of clothing and other gear too. Compressible water bottles may lack insulation, but they roll up to practically nothing when you're done drinking and easily stow away in a pocket of your bag. Likewise, a packable rain jacket or travel poncho is much smaller than a full raincoat. And remember that bigger isn't always better. I found some great travel toothbrushes, razors, and shavers that let me cut the size of my dop kit down and work well enough that I even use them at home. Strategy is just as important when it comes to packing as it is when you're playing Tetris, Catan, or Command and Conquer. To start, you don't wanna fill up all the available space in your travel backpack before you leave home. If you know you wanna buy a souvenir or two, save some room in your carry-on for things like Mickey ears, which is something Christine, our staff writer, would totally bring back, and I think she does every time she visits Disney. Laying out everything ahead of time will help you decide what to cut. First, divide your gear into items you use daily, less frequently, and rarely. Then take a hard look at the last pile and see if there's something you can live without and leave it behind to save weight in your pack. If you're traveling with a friend, you can share space. For example, pack all the entertainment and gear for the plane in your personal item bag and give your companion the snacks. Just be sure not to exceed the per person limits for liquids. Each person is only allowed a single quart size bag, so everyone may have to carry their own through security if all the toiletries can't fit into one. Plus you can pack less if you get creative with your gear. A hoodie can double as a neck pillow and you can protect your glasses from scratches by sticking them in a pair of socks, although that won't stop them from being crushed. If you're staying at a hotel, you can leave a lot behind, especially if they provide things like soap and shampoo. You'll save cash on toiletries, just like you may save money on your next hotel stay with this video sponsor, NordVPN. Some hotels and airlines charge more to travelers in certain locations, but I've found lower prices by connecting to a server in a different country. 
Since website cookies mark you as a returning user, companies can increase prices the next time you click to get you to pull the trigger. It happened to my little brother the last time he came to visit me. I found a car rental for him and when I sent him the link, it was almost double the cost on his end. He then changed his VPN setting and boom, saw the better price. Get access to a private VPN by heading to nordvpn.com packhacker. Along with private browsing, it protects your data with just one click on up to six devices. That lets me browse incognito from anywhere in the world when I travel, allowing me to access geo-blocked content and giving me extra security to protect my personal info. Use code PACKHACKER at nordvpn.com slash packhacker to get four months free on a two-year plan at NordVPN. They offer a 30-day money-back guarantee so you can try it risk-free before your next trip. And head to the deals page on our website to see offers from all of our sponsors. Now, back to the tips. Just as important as what you bring is where you put it. I'm most comfortable when I keep heavy gear centered in my backpack. That's because resting gear tight to your back between your hips and shoulder blades evenly distributes the weight. However, your gear may shift around and it is no fun at finding a mess in your backpack when you arrive. Instead, we like to use packing cubes to keep everything organized. Whether you like to group your shirts and pants separately or pack outfits together so you always know where your favorite sweater is, cubes help your clothing stay sorted and all your rolls stay rolled. As for other items, consider keeping them inside of pouches so you can swap them between bags easily. If you have a tech pouch and a small daily toiletry bag, it is easier to move everything into your day pack or sling if they're already in their own pouch. Plus, you're less likely to leave anything behind since it's easier to keep organized. You can also just use the exterior pockets on your travel backpack. They're great for items you need quickly and often, like your wallet, passport, and phone. If you're heading off the beaten path or through a sketchy area to get to your hotel though, you may want to invest in an anti-theft bag to keep pickpockets from grabbing your gear. We're about halfway through and if you're finding this video helpful, make sure to hit subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Different clothing calls for different packing strategies. While rolling is the most compact, it'll cause wrinkles on thin or delicate material. An alternative is the KonMari method of folding things in thirds lengthwise, then half top to bottom, and finally in thirds again. It's fast and leaves fewer wrinkles, but it works best when packing in cubes or bags that open clamshell since it can unfold pretty easily. If you'd rather roll, bundling outfits together creates a bigger ball that smooths out wrinkles. We found this was a really great strategy in our vacation packing list, which includes a lot of linen, and it prevented a lot of it from wrinkling. Packing a capsule wardrobe helps you bring along less too. Instead of bringing a separate outfit for each day, bring pieces that mix and match with each other and can layer up for warmth. When choosing items in your capsule, make sure to opt for breathable fabrics. Merino wool, linen, and bamboo regulate your body temperature so you can get more uses out of one piece before washing. If you want to know more, make sure to check out our post on creating a travel capsule wardrobe. It's about more than just fabrics though. Even if you've been stocking the weather forecast for weeks, you could always get hit with a summer afternoon thunderstorm. A packable rain or travel jacket will have you ready for those just-in-case moments. If you're heading somewhere colder, compression cubes can help contain bulkier gear. Sweaters, jackets, and scarves take up more room, but compression cubes can help hold them together to make it easier to fit into your bag. As for footwear, we recommend bringing along one pair of lightweight travel shoes, but sometimes that may not always be possible. If you have to bring hiking boots or athletic shoes, wear your bulky footwear on the plane and tuck away smaller shoes and sandals into your bag. You can pack gear like socks, underwear, or even chargers inside of them to make good use of space. We also suggest bringing a dry bag or a plastic grocery bag just in case. After all, you never know when you'll want to hit a beach after checkout and you'll need somewhere to put your wet swimming suit. Whether you're post-swim or behind on laundry, it lets you keep wet gear separate from the rest so it doesn't contaminate your gear on your trip home. Tech can also take up a lot of space. That's true whether you're a digital nomad or working remotely for the day. Instead, look for space-saving versions of your favorite gear, like a GAN wall charger, a super flat mouse, and a universal cable. Just be sure to keep it organized. Your cables take up less space and are easier to find if you wrap them with cable ties, Velcro, or twist ties. Plus, it won't be a jumbled mess when you need to charge your phone. And you can bring fewer cables if all of your tech has the same port type. If you're Team Apple or Team Android, you'll need fewer cables than if you mix and match Lightning and USB-C, unless you have the new iPhone, of course. The same keyboard and mouse may work with your laptop or tablet, and there's a good chance that your gear will share the same charger too. And if you're bringing less tech on your trip, you can use a smaller pouch than you use daily. Doing so will force you to pack less, and you may find that you don't need every last dongle anyway. However, if there's something that you can't work without, consider bringing along a backup. 
It's fun to work in different places around the world, but you may not always be able to find the specific SD card or computer battery you need in a different country if one of them dies. So if it's essential, we give you permission to bring along two. However, phones can do a lot these days. From maps and notes to games, music, and other apps, there's a good chance that you can leave that GPS, a point and shoot camera, and a game system at home. If you'd rather spend money on fancy food than travel accessories, then it's easy to DIY some gear. The next time you're at a hotel, bring home any provided toiletries. The bottles are likely the right size for your 311 bag so you can refill them for your next trip. Household containers work great for travel too. Breath mint canisters, pill bottles, and bread organizers all work to carry your jewelry, small toiletries, and tiny tech on the road. You can also save money on laundry even if you bring less clothing. Pack some dry laundry sheets or Dr. Bronner's Castile soap and do your wash in the hotel sink. If you forget, the hotel soap works in a pinch too. Zip top bags are good for more than just sandwiches. If you can't find room in your budget for packing cubes or don't know how often you'll use them, you can fill the gallon sized bags with your clothing to keep it organized. Since they're clear, it's easier to find your favorite shirt too. If you do have to check a bag or leave it at the hotel before you check in, then make sure it stands out. Tie on a bright ribbon, slap it with a piece of neon colored duct tape or stick on a patch to quickly tell it's yours. When it comes to summer travel, I have one word for you, hydration. Nothing ruins a trip faster than a dehydration headache, so bring a water bottle. If you prefer ice cold H2O, skip the collapsible bottle and go for an insulated one. Just make sure you have a place to put it or you'll have to carry it by hand all day even when it's empty. Sunscreen is essential too. You can pick it up when you arrive, but you'll probably pay more than you do at home if you're staying at a popular spot. We also recommend bringing a packable hat, sunglasses, and even long sleeves if you're afraid of getting burned. You'll be much more comfortable if you come prepared. The same goes for footwear. Flip-flops save space, but your feet may pay for it later. Supportive sandals will carry you through the day's adventure and leave you ready for more instead of needing a day off to recover. One time, Lauren, our managing editor, even had to buy new shoes on her first day of travel because her shoes gave her blisters. If you'll be more active, wear moisture-wicking socks with your shoes to keep sweat and blisters at bay. It's a good idea to be prepared for anything. That's true even if the forecast says warm and sunny weather all week. A thin extra layer will help you on a cool summer night and come in handy if a cold front moves in unexpectedly. Or sometimes you may even choose to travel to a colder destination. If that's the case, make sure you bring along a lot of layers to stay warm. Start with a moisture wicking shirt and combine it with a thermal shirt, a midweight sweater or hoodie, and a packable jacket for ultimate warmth. It all works separately too, so you can either add or remove layers if you get hot on a hike or if you get a little more chilly after the sun goes down. A rain jacket is also a great layer to have on hand because not only does it help on a downpour, but it can help block the wind as a top layer too. You'll have to bring along extra accessories too. Hats, gloves, and neckwear are good additions to your cold weather packing list because even if you're covered up everywhere else, you can get a chill if your head and hands are bare. If you can, look for weatherproof pieces. You get colder if you're damp, so even warm woolen mittens won't do much good if they get sopping wet in the snow. Moisture wicking socks are essential here too, especially if your feet start to sweat and your bulky warm boots. You won't always travel by plane and preparing for a road trip requires a different approach. Before leaving home, you'll want to download maps in your playlist because you could lose service as you drive through the mountains or rural areas. When it's time to pack your gear, load the car based on what you need frequent access to. You're not going to want your big duffel riding shotgun, so pop it in the trunk and fill a day pack or tote bag with your ID, snacks, gum, and car games. Toss other gear you need like an extra layer or neck pillow in the back seat. Keep your essentials within easy reach of your passenger and put everything else in the trunk. Of course, if every seat is taken, you may want to share gear so those who need to take a nap can do so while others drive. What you wear is important too. A road trip is not the time for trendy but uncomfortable clothing. Choosing stretchy items that won't dig in as you sit for hours will make the trip more enjoyable. We also recommend layering because the sun will shift in the sky as you drive and make certain passengers pretty hot. You also don't want to end up hangry, so make sure to get those car snacks on point. It's tempting to load up on chips and candy, but you'll feel sluggish and hungry much faster. Instead, opt for healthier snacks like cut up veggies, nuts, and energy bars to keep the energy flowing for hours. So there you have it, 50 of our top packing tips. And if you like these packing tips, make sure to check out our other video where we cover 50 of our top travel tips. Thanks for keeping me here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next video.